Hello everyone, in this video I will walk you through how I create this dreamy noise texture by combining two blurry noise top together and then we're also going to learn how to add audio reactivity to it. You can follow along to create similar effects based on this tutorial and optional to download the exact project file I've been showing you in the tutorial in my Patreon. And if you're not necessarily need to work with audio as a generative artist, by working with the audio will give your visuals a lot more possibilities. So without further ado, let's first see the final effect. Okay, now let's break down the network. For the network, we start with the audio part. For the audio, if you watch my tutorials before, I've used Hi a lot, and normally I just connect my audio file and then to the audio analysis, which is a preview component you can find under the tools, audio analysis here, and then you just drag it here and connect to your audio file. And then you use the select, select the high, and use the high frequency data to drive our visuals. Normally, I would connect it to a mask to remap the values to a usable range, and then connect it to a lag chop to add some delay to our visuals so the movement feels more smoother and natural to our music. Then add the limit to filter out the jiggerish uh, visuals, uh, especially for fast paced songs. And then uh, for the value here, you just always experiment with your music and your song. And also for the lag here, it's the same. And then connect it to a now. Normally I would change the name, but in this case I'm just lazy. Uh, but it will be so much better if you change the name to the parameters you are driving. This is how I would normally do it. And I would uh, always add them, but then bypass the lag or limit based on my needs and also change the values on the go. And after the audio, let's see the visual part. And then for the main visuals, we need to create blurry noise tops and compose them together. To start, we first need a constant chop to set the resolution of our noise. I uh, just chop the reference here uh, inside the resolution. And then for the transform here, the tricks I have is to have a base speed, but also add on top of our uh, audio reactivity to it. So once you have the noise, you will connect it to an edge and increase the strength here. Add a black background, compose the black edge and the original noise together using the operation multiply, and then connect it to a tile. The tile here is to add more dynamic and interesting comp composition. So what the tile do is turn one object into a four object if you put the repeat X and Y to two. And then if we change the U and V here, we'll get more dynamic tile. So in this case, I'm using an LFO connected to a mask to remap to the value I want and chop the reference to the overlap U and V for our tile. Once we have our dynamic tiles, we want to add some colors to it. And to do that, we're going to connect it to a lookup and use uh, another two noise connected to displays and connected to second input of the lookup. Lookup will take first input as the texture and second input as the color reference. So this is our texture, uh, which is quite black, you cannot see, but we are actually adding the kind of white, grayish color to our texture over here. 
and then after that you connect it to a blur and you increase the size of the blur and then connect the blur to a transform and uh, I put the scale minus one and minus one you can also uh, use a flip just flip the graphic around and then compose two of them together in here I'm using luminant difference and then I connect the transform to another lookup and created a um, noise so in this case you can see it more clearly so the lookup works by taking the first input as a texture and the second input is the color you want to apply to that texture in this case we will have this texture with the orange color and then I will just compose it again, the blur one and the, the one being flipped around and compose together, use luminant difference and this one I'm using light color. The core message here is you want to compose two very blurry noise together, try out different composition method, try out different colors and very likely you will get similar uh, dreamy looks like mine. All right, that's our main visual part. So the final touch, we just add a little bit uh, adjustment to our layout. I first add a bird video as a background in a video, as I think this one fits well to our song. And then I connect it to the noise we have using composition method pin light, but I think other operation methods should also work depending on what kind of media you put. And then I connect it to a layout. I want to put the, my video uh, and the noise I created side by side to create the left and right composition. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it will look like this. Okay. My computer is really slow, so I'm not going to show you. I'm saving up to buy myself a new computer. Um, yeah, that's the whole uh, structure. Hope you find this useful and I will see you next time.